what's up you guys welcome back to my money's channel so today i have a little cheese mid time for you guys so i know you guys have been wanting a cheese mid story i thought since it's spooky season i would give you guys a spooky story time rather than like boo drama you know so i'm gonna change things up a little bit so for today's story time video, I want, I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I've actually don't even really like to talk about this just because like when I do talk about it, like to some people, like, you know, I just feel like some people are believers and some people aren't, um, which is totally fine. You know, not everyone is going to be on the same page. So before I even get started on this story, you guys already know I have my modelito right here. Before I drink my tolly, I'm going to add some of my favorite chamoy. This is the Chelitas chamoy. I'm using the original. I'm going to put the link um, in the description box in case you guys want to try it. So if you guys need a little tip, all I do is you leave it closed. I already rinsed it for all my germaphobes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fucking fire, you guys. It's crazy how I can't even remember stuff that I did when I was four and five. Because, like, I can't even remember, like, what I did yesterday or what I wore yesterday. So, basically, when I was about five, you know, I had my own room. In my room, like, I had my bed. And then my mom kept my crib. I was kind of like an only child just because... Me and my sister were 12 years apart. So she had like moved out. Well, she had got kicked out, but that's another story. So, you know, so I was basically like the only child. So I remember one particular night, I passed out on my crib for some reason. And I was sleeping in my crib. I wake up and there's like these spiders all over me, right? I was like freaking out. But then all of a sudden I woke up. And then I realized like I wasn't really... I wasn't really up like I thought I was up because my room looked like exactly how I don't know how to explain it to you guys like my room ex looked exactly how it did like when I woke up that night like I mean like the moon was shining like in the same spot like it, it went away for like a few years and then it came back again I was either like a teenager or like I was like 20 something like that I remember I was living with my mom in this little ass apartment, right? Man, I'm low-key kind of scared to talk about this because, like, it's nighttime and, like, I'm home by myself. So, I remember I passed out in my room and, you know, my mom was asleep in her room. In my dream, we're at my best friend's house and it's nighttime. And I, so then we hear something, like, on the roof, right? Then, like, you guys, I'm not exaggerating, like, I'm like even like it even makes me nervous to kind of talk about it. I we hear something on the roof and then I so then for whatever fucking reason because I would not do this shit in real life. I was like oh like let me go see what it is right. I go outside. I remember I was looking at the roof of the house. I seen this thing kind of built like a man. It was super 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 tall. The figure was like black. The hands were like claws, kind of. Like, he didn't have fingers. Like, it, he had claws, right? So it was like these scary, scary looking claws. Like, they were like this big. Since it was like the nighttime, um, I can see like the figure of it because like the moonlight. It had like these big red eyes, right? And like these eyes would like glow in the dark. Red, right? As soon as I seen it, you guys, in this dream, I woke up in my dream. So I'm still sleeping, but in my dream at this point, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Like I'm tripping, right? Like it's like the most horrible feeling, you guys. Because like I, re I remember like now I'm up. Now I'm in my dream, like I'm living my dream, right? Like at this point, it's not like, oh, I'm sleeping and the dream's taking me away. Like, no, I know what the hell's going on. Like, and I know that I'm sleeping. So I keep shaking myself. Cause like, obviously like, you know, in your dream, you think you could get up, but like you can't, you know? So I'm shaking myself and I feel like something's holding me down, right? Like I just can't and, I, and I'm trying to scream. But, like, I just feel like this thing, 
like took away my voice like I couldn't scream right and I'm telling myself like wake up Mo wake up wake up and you guys I'm literally like I keep telling myself wake up wake up and it's like the most horrible feeling right so this thing sees that now I know that I'm alert and I know what's going on and I'm trying to wake myself up tell me why this thing fucking like just stares at me and then like puts his claws out like that and he fucking jumps on me right so he's from the, he's on the roof and he jumps on me as soon as he jumps on me you guys like I wake up and I'm like <gasps> and like oh my god you guys like it's so crazy like my heart was literally about to pump out of my chest like you can see my heart pumping like on my chest like it was just like and like as soon as I wake up you guys like I freak the fuck out and I'm like <gasps> I'm and she's like, get chingados, tienes pinche loca. Wait, for those of you who don't understand, she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you crazy ass? And I'm like, I'm ah. Like, and like, it's it's crazy. Like, it's crazy the words that came out of my mouth because I didn't even really think about what I said. But I was like, I'm ah, like, mire el demonio. Like, I was like, mire un demonio. And she's like, what? Like, what are you talking about? And I was like, yeah, like, I seen something evil, mom. Like, I'm like, I don't know what exactly what it was. I'm like, but it's evil. That one, Dude, I felt like I was on a Freddy Cougar movie because a bitch didn't want to go to sleep after that. Like, it was, and then you guys, it was like four in the morning and I, sw I did not want to fucking go back to sleep because I was that scared. And like, my heart was like just pumping for hours. And I remember, um, I like, I was just like, I was so like scared. And I was telling my mom like, mom, I don't want to like go back to sleep. Like, you know, I'm scared. And she's like, see, like, dude, and she fucking tells me, yeah, si has a tener la pinche conciencia. So she really had the fucking nerve to tell me that I'm dreaming shit like that because of my conscience. You know, once my mom knew, like, I wasn't playing anymore, like, you know, she took me serious. She's like, you know what? She's like, before you go to sleep, pray. And she's like, pray every night that you don't have those ugly dreams and forgot to protect you. And it's funny because, like, I, I do pray before I go to sleep, but in that time i i just like i don't know if i was just like just too tired um you know and it sounds bad but i i guess like i was just tired from work i would just come home and like pass out so it's just like i you know i i wasn't really praying at the time so when my mom told me to start praying like i did start praying every night and i just i didn't have i didn't dream that thing anymore you know like it left me alone so fast forward to I believe 2017 now at this point um, I'm living now I'm living with my twin nieces I remember 2017 I was still working my 9 to 5 and I remember I just came home I took a shower and then um, I put on a movie and um, that that was that I basically passed out this time for real you guys okay I heard a loud ass noise right and this time I woke up, but this time like for real, I really legit woke up, right? I'm not dreaming. I woke up. So I hear the loud noise and I'm laying down, right? So I hear the loud noise and I just like, I open up my eyes and I'm like, what the fuck? And like from the corner of my eye, I see like, I see like a shadow like ran to like the closet, right? Not necessarily ran, but it floated to like... The closet right at that time my closet i had one of those like fucking cheap ass closet doors where like the fucking doors like break off hella easy kind of like these back here but these luckily haven't broken on me um at the old house where this happened i had took away i had took down the doors so you can actually take these doors down once they break so I took out the door so basically you could see in the closet which is crazy because like I don't even like leaving my closet doors open so I don't even know how I even managed to be like that for so long. When I heard the loud noise I opened up my eyes and I see a shadow kind of standing kind of standing on the side of me right and it like floats to the closet. Once it floats to the closet I'm like what the fuck so I I sit up you guys I sit up and I'm looking at the closet like what the fuck just went in the closet, right? And I look at the closet and then, oh my god, you guys, like, I'm getting the chills again. I saw these, like, evil white eyes 
in the closet and you guys like i'm fucking up my eyes are open like i'm fucking sitting up like i'm not laying down i'm actually like i'm sitting up and i'm looking at the closet and i'm seeing these like evil ass fucking eyes these eyes that i seen you guys even though i was just seeing these eyes like i can tell like it was evil like this was nothing good like it was just like the shape of the eyes like they kind of look like and you guys like they're super big right they're like these big white evil ass eyes and you guys the eyes are just staring at me right and i'm just like because i'm like what the fuck like i feel like i was like living one of those moments like i don't know if you guys have ever heard like a ghost story and you're like fuck like if i seen a ghost like i would do this or like if i seen a ghost i would do that you know but like you guys when i fucking seen this like literally i was like you know how like in the scary movies like the person gets scared and they're just stuck and like the killer's coming to kill them or like the fucking ghost or whatever and like the person just like Ugh. like they can't move like literally that was fucking me you guys like i was so fucking scared that i couldn't even fucking move like i was just stuck i was like Ugh. and like that thing was the thing was staring at me i was staring at it it was so weird like it just felt like time like like time froze right and it lasted like to me it lasted forever but i guess it was just a couple of seconds out of nowhere you guys this thing like fucking disappeared like it just fucking disappeared the, like it just disappeared in the middle of the fucking closet like it just fucking disappeared like i don't even know how to explain it like it just disappeared and went away when it disappeared my twin knees appeared right next to me like and it's crazy because when I got up, I didn't see her standing there the whole time, right? Like, there was nobody there when I got up and I seen the thing. So when, like, she appeared in my room, I was like, I looked at her and I'm just like, dude, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, is, are, is, like, is someone playing a fucking joke on me? Did somebody fucking drug me with something? Because I'm just, like, tripping, you guys. I've never lived something like this. You know, the twin, like, is staring at me in shock, right? Because she's like, are you okay? And I was like, did you? I was like, have you been in the room the whole time? She's like, yeah. She's like, I came in because I was going to tell you something. I didn't realize that, you know, you were sleeping. She's like, but when I came in, she's like, you opened up your eyes and you got up and you were staring at something in the closet. She's like, but I couldn't see it. I didn't see nothing in the closet. She's like, but you were staring at something. She's like, what were you staring at? And like, at that point, I'm like, you didn't see it. I'm like, you didn't fucking see it in the closet. And she's like, no, I didn't see it. And I'm like, and you guys, like, I'm literally shook, right? I'm like, like, I'm literally acting like how the fucking people act in the scary movies when nobody fucking believes what the fuck they're seeing, right? Twin, I'm like, tell me when, when I got up, I didn't see you in the room. It's like you weren't here. I was like, until the thing disappeared, that's when I seen you. And she was like, no, like, I've been in the room the whole fucking time. And she was like, are you sure, like, you weren't sleepwalking or anything? I'm like, no, I know I was fucking up. In this dream... I actually woke up in real life, like, I'm not dreaming at this point, I fucking got up, I was able to move around and see that thing, you know, so it was just like, there's no fucking way I was sleeping, and you know, after a while, she's like, no, like, I believe you, she was like, the way that you reacted when you got up and you were staring at the closet, she's like, I never seen that look on your face. She's like, I've never seen you that scared in my life before. So I remember one day, um, I was with the fam and we were having a movie night and we're looking for like a scary movie to watch. And it was, just, it was actually a documentary. Um, the documentary was called Nightmares. I'm gonna make sure to put the name of the Netflix movie in the description box in case you guys want to check out the documentary so basically what this documentary is about is people who have gone through similar situations um as me most of these people that come on this um documentary these people are all from different countries right they're all from different countries like there's some from like the united states um there's some like from europe like they're literally all around the world right and they just like interviewed all these people around the world that don't even know each other right and these people were talking about would be that they would be sleeping 
and they would wake up in the middle of the night and they're physically like their eyes are open right like they're not dreaming like the thing that they were seeing was the same thing i seen which was the big thing with the claws and the red eyes and it's crazy because these these people, all these people around the world were seeing the same man. Like, I think it was like a man, like some kind of form of a man. Um, they were seeing the same man, right? But with the red eyes and the, the claws and tall. And like, you guys, I was just tripping because I'm like, how do all these people around the world that don't even know each other seeing the same thing, right? Like, I don't know why I gotta be having these crazy ass dreams. Like, I don't know why I can't just be fucking dreaming that I'm like gonna marry Drake. But that was my spooky story, you guys. Um, let me know if you guys have had similar situations happen to you guys. Um, or maybe if you guys just have had like a spooky story that's happened to you guys, drop it in the comment box. I love hearing scary stories, you guys. Also, you guys, I am wearing the Batty B lashes. I am wearing the Style Saucy. My box is a little messed up because I fucking wear these lashes like all the time. I'm going to put also the link to the lashes in the description box. Don't forget to use your girl's discount, which is Mo Money. I'm also going to put the link for the lip gloss and the lipstick in the description box, as well as, as the chamoy. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching.